Welcome to Mock Rockets. Legos rock. And so do rockets. Okay, today what I have for you is our Vulcan uh, Mock. And this is United Launch Alliance, uh, their upcoming Vulcan rocket. And you can see that the main construction here is made of 6x6 six six cylinder pieces and the solid rocket boosters, of uh, which we have four, um, are made from 2x2 two two rounds. So a lot of this is pretty simple, but there are a few tricks that I want to go through. But just to give you a sense of scale, here's the Vulcan and here's the Saturn V. So uh, quite, a bit, quite a bit smaller than the Saturn V, but um, still a lot of fun features here. Um, it's only a little more than 200 parts, and we made some nice stickers that go along with it. Um, so the first thing is that there's four, we chose to use four solid rocket boosters because we're using these 6x6 brick pieces that um, we can just put the standard Technic pins, or half pins, in. Um, so the, the rocket would launch, the four solid rocket boosters would disengage, um, then it would burn for a while with the two uh, big BE-4 engines on the bottom, and then a couple of things happen. So the engines would turn off, and the second stage would light. This also has two engines. We're going to set this aside for now, because something interesting happens with the, the main booster. Um, what happens with the main booster is we can uh, disassemble the two BE-4 engines, and the way that the Vulcan rocket United Launch Alliance thinks their Vulcan rocket will work is that the engines will fall down, they'll de deploy some sort of a heat shield and parachute system and maybe be picked up by a helicopter or something like that. So they're going to try and reuse the BE-4 engines, which are the expensive part, um, and then the main uh, kind of uh, tank section just goes in the ocean, so partial reuse. Meanwhile, the upper stage uh, continues on, and this is where things get complicated in this mock. So the payload fairing uh, will jettison, and this can kind of slip out. We've chosen to put as a payload the Dream Chaser. It looks kind of like this, and um, it has some storage and engines, solar panels, whatever. And uh, so this was really quite a trick to get it in the payload fairing. It seems like this would be no problem. However, uh, the main issue is that these 6x6 cylinder pieces only give uh, a 1x2 uh, opening in them. So total there's a 2x2 two two square opening and that's all we have to work with um, when these 6x6 six six cylinder pieces attach to each other. So that was a real trick to get all of that right. Um, we had to do a lot of trial and error on that. So we have some nice stickers that we included with the mock, United Launch Alliance, Sierra Nevada Corporation, a US flag, and then the Vulcan design. We wanted to do that huge sort of uh, Vulcan sort of flame logo here, but it just didn't work. It was many stickers and trying to align them well uh, was just terrible. So we gave up on that and just went with the regular uh, Vulcan sticker. So hope you enjoyed this mock. Thanks for watching and check out our um, other mocks on Rebrickable.com or MockRockets.com. Thank you.